Yo you guys, welcome back to another video on Michigan Sports Talk here. In this one, we got a Michigan football video. Going to be talking about a couple things here. One that has to deal with Michigan football recruiting as Derek Moore was named the MVP of the Under Armour All-American game and a couple other things about recruiting. They're also going to be talking about Michigan tight end Eric All um, deciding to come back next year for another season and also defensive end Taylor Upshaw both announcing uh, a return for next season and also talking about Aiden Hutchinson him signing an agent gonna be talking about everything so make sure you guys watch the whole entire video and if you guys are new around here I greatly appreciate it if you could go ahead hit that subscribe button and other than that let's get right into today's video all right so let's start with the the Under Armour All-American game, uh, this was actually played just yesterday, Sunday afternoon, and one of Michigan's defensive line signee, Derek Moore, he was actually named the MVP of the Under Armour All-American game as his team won it. If you guys do remember on early signing day, he actually signed with Michigan, and he was actually a really late, uh, a late target for Michigan after, um, obviously, Lincoln Riley left Oklahoma to go to USC, and he was actually... Uh, committed to Oklahoma and then he decommitted and then we started targeting him now he actually had two sacks in this game and uh, actually had a third one taken away because of defensive holding but he was constantly getting pressure throughout the game up front and also stopped the run pretty good too but yeah he had a very good game and was named the MVP and uh, so yeah I mean he's a defensive lineman now he is uh, 260 pounds and uh, some say he plays like he is 240 pounds, very agile and athletic, and he can also bulk up and play three technique or stay at his current size and play strong side on the defensive end. So we'll see what Michigan uses him as and uh, if they will, you know, bulk him up or not. Either way, he should be very good here. Uh, he is a four star and it was a huge get for Michigan at the defensive line position. Um, but yeah, we'll see how he ends up here in Michigan. Very good player. And like I said, he won the MVP of the Under Armour All-American game. And that is very, very impressive uh, notching two sacks in that game. Another cool thing that he did, he actually honored his performance to former teammate Aaron Wilson, who uh, sadly passed away in April with the battle due to cancer. Uh, he actually wore a t-shirt with Wilson's picture on it throughout the game and uh, so yeah Wilson's parents were also in attendance for that one so that's very cool and he actually said I'm actually out here playing for him I'm not playing for myself he just said I'm just I'm just letting his legacy continue so that's very cool from Derek Moore there uh, honoring his former teammate and he played a fantastic game so can't wait to have him in a Michigan uniform there's actually three other players that were playing in the All-American game as well. Uh, Keon Sab, Will Johnson, and actually three-star wide receiver Morian Walker was also in that game. Um, Will Johnson played great. Keon Sab also did as well. Um, also, Morian Walker can definitely see some of the p potential in him. Um, however, he you know still has to get better. Definitely see the skill in him. Uh, you know he still has time though for him to come on. But, uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all four players playing in the All-American game and Derek Moore winning the MVP. So next thing we'll talk about now is Michigan tight end Eric All staying for his senior season. Um, in his uh, Instagram post, he said that he was coming back. He said, love this team so much. And then he also said, this was Saturday after the loss as well. Uh, and he said, can't wait to get back on the field with you guys. Uh, pretty much noting that he will be coming back. Obviously, six foot four, two hundred and forty five pound, and he was the Wolverines leading receiver among tight ends and second overall behind receiver Cornelius Johnson. He should be a key factor factor in the offense next season, and it's great to have him back. Also, another guy coming back, defensive lineman Taylor Upshaw, also shared on Instagram that he is returning. He said, I am proud to call myself a Michigan man and happy to announce I will be returning for a fifth year to finish the journey I started. Now, he actually has two more years of eligibility. We redshirted him um, in 2018, and then 2020 was a free year, so he actually has two more years of eligibility if he uh, likes to... Uh, use both of them but he will be coming back for next year so yeah very cool about that Eric all 
He had 42 catches for 500 yards and two touchdowns during the season. One of them obviously saved our our season. It was like a 42-yard touchdown reception against Penn State for the go-ahead uh, winning drive in that game to really save our season. He also led the team in receiving during the Orange Bowl with four catches for 63 yards and a one of them was a 17-yard reception, so it would be very very good to have him back. And uh, so, yeah. And then Taylor Upshaw, this season, he actually struggled with an injury, uh, but in the middle of the year, midway through the year, but he did still register seven tackles, uh, four and a half stops, or tackles for loss, and two and a half sacks, um, while adding three quarterback hurries. So uh, we'll see how he does next season, and hopefully, you know, it's a big year for him. Uh, but it's very good to have, you know, leadership like him on the team, the defensive side, and helping the young guys. So very cool for him to come back. And uh, then the next thing and last thing I'll probably talk about in this video, Hutchinson actually signed with an agent. So uh, Aiden Hutchinson signed with Mike McCartney and James Moten of Priority Sports, uh, ESPN senior um, NFL Insider Adam Schefter reported that on Saturday. So the all-time sack leader of, in Michigan uh, with 14 sacks going to the NFL. And hey, he could be the number one pick in the NFL draft. Maybe even the Lions can pick him up. Hopefully the Lions can pick him up. That'd be awesome to have him in a Detroit Lions uniform. Maybe go see him again uh, live in-game for all the Michigan fans. But yeah, I mean, Hutchinson talked obviously after the game and everything and said, uh, you know, that he knows this team will be fine we have you know the seniors on this team have uh, set the tone and he talked to players on the team you know during their loss that uh, you know they, they got to step up and be leaders and pretty much he, he said that this team knows what it takes now and uh, he said that we'll, we'll, we'll be in good position and this program will be left in good position with leadership to uh, you know go ahead and and uh, set the standard for other classes coming in. It was a huge season for him, and I'm uh, very glad he came back. Really set the tone for Michigan football. But yeah, that's pretty much everything. Talked a little about recruiting. Derek Moore winning the MVP of the Under Armour game. Will Johnson, Keon Sad, Morian Walker also played in that. Uh, tight end Eric Gall and a defensive lineman. Um, Taylor Upshaw will be coming back and Aiden Hutchinson signing an agent He'll be going to the NFL draft and potentially being the number one NFL pick not really surprised there uh, And yeah, that's pretty much everything we covered in this one I hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did please drop a like subscribe for more and uh, we will see you guys in the next video. Peace